Hello Dolphin users, now this video will teach you how to recover the Nostra data from one Western Digital 2TB hard drive. For this 2TB hard drive, the model is WD20EZRZ. For this kind of Western Digital hard drive, the most common issue is the snow detection firmware problem. When hard drives are connected to the PC and it is detected very slowly and sometimes the ID cannot be even detected at all. So this is usually the snow firmware corruption issue. Now we have connected to the DFSRP data recovery hardware. To recover the hard drives, the correct steps are as below. Firstly, we need to open the DFDDT data recovery software. We need to do the power on test. After power on, we need to check if the hard drive is spinning a lot. We can use our hand to feel or to pick the hard drive up and check if it's spinning a lot or you can hear you can listen to the hard drive after that if the drive is spinning properly we need to check the status of the status registers to see if the drive are ready or not now the drive are ready we need to fix the common firmware issue here is one function called initialization slowly fix. We just simply click this button and the program will fix this hard drive automatically. It's very easy by simply one click. Now we have fixed the common firmware corruption issue. We need to scan the hard drive and see if there are many bad sectors or not. For this hard drive, after we fix the snow initialization issue, it is one good drive. It's very easy to recover the data from such kind of drive with good health. It has only the common firmware issue. We can go to recover NOS data directly. However, for this drive, it contains millions of files. For common tools or some other data recovery tools, it's very hard for them to recover such kind of drives with large amount of files. When they are trying to scan such kind of drives, they may go corruption. But here, within the DFDDP data recovery software. We can set up the new project for file extraction. Now we go to extract files directly. So here we can see that the DDP data recovery software lists all the most partitions part automatically. We can see the two partitions are listed here. So here's one folder, double click the folder and the program will list the subfolders and the files. We can see this folder. This is one firmware database. It contains all the hard drive brands and all the families. This is why it contains so large amount of files in this file in this hard drive so we can double click each folder and we can see the resources the firmware modules within the folder users just need to select the wanted files and folders and right click save file or we can use recover select files the suggested 
function here is recover selected files. And this one is easy. And users just click this one. And then you can select where you want to see those files. So after this operation, users can simply recover all the lost data. So even for such kind of drives with millions of files, with the DFDDP data recovery, it is just some simple clicks. Thank you for watching this video. If you are new to data recovery, this is the best choice for you.